You can feel the tension in the air as we move into race day here at Monaco. It's a track that requires the full concentration of the drivers with zero margin for error. It tests their skills to the absolute limits. So no wonder, it remains a fan favorite. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Perez, Yuki Tsunoda, and Norris, Gasly, Ricardo, Leclerc, and Carlos Sainz, Vettel, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, and Ocon. Raikkonen, Latifi, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. DRS is now available.
That's a race win. You've really been great today. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team and they certainly deserve it. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.